guys, how are you all doing? So, today I'm going for my very first interview. <laughs> I'm going for my first interview here in the US. Mm. How do I feel? I'm a bit nervous, but hopefully everything goes well. <laughs> if it's God's will, I'll have this job. So, yes, we pray and hope for the best. If God wants me to have it, I know I'll have it. So, I'll talk to you guys and tell you how it goes when I come back. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, how are you all doing? I just woke up. It's almost six. It's five something. I am so not well. I'm very sick. I wouldn't have even been up if not for something I will disclose to you guys later. I am up early so I could uh, do some steam inhalation and take my bath and get ready. Um, I feel really sick. I have this headache, body pains, um, blocked nose feeling cold and hot at the same time you can hear from my voice it's the flu i mean i am so 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 sick guys anyways the husband has already put some water on fire i'll show you guys in a bit that's what i'm coming to use to do the hot water inhalation you can see from my face i'm so sick i'm very very sick so that's the water still on fire I want it to be very warm so I can do the steam inhalation. So let me just show you how I do this. See the water. It's not really hot yet. I want it to be very hot so that the steam will just be pouring out of it, coming out of it. Yeah. This is like mint something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll put some of that in the water. Hey guys, so <gasps> I'm done with the steam inhalation. I'm going to take my bath and I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye. You can try the steam inhalation if you've got cold and your nose is blocked, it opens your airways. 
yeah it helps so if you have a flu and you're finding it difficult to breathe your nose is blocked you can try the steam inhalation <laughs> it works yeah so i'll try and check my temperature to see if my temperature all right so it's not high it's not high yet all right at least my temperature is it's fine okay so that's okay that's good I'm just going to try and check my blood pressure as well Oh my goodness, since the battery is is dead. Oh I need to change the cells. Let me change the batteries. I'll just first I'll put one new one to see if it will boost the others to function if it still doesn't work then I'll change all of them okay let's try this and see okay it still isn't working so I'll try and change Second one. Why is it not working? I used to use the thing two days ago. Oh. I'm not even sure if the batteries are not working. Something wrong. Well, I'll wait till the husbandman comes back from work to come and check it out. Yeah, so Jason will check it out when he gets back from work. I'm not sure it's the batteries because after changing all, it still isn't functioning. To think that I just used this, I think, two days ago. And it was working perfectly so 
I don't know what the problem is. I just want to work. Hey guys, so after taking my bath, I had something to eat and I took some pain reliever. Uh, I feel a bit better now. So I'm about to set up. I have an interview today. The last time I told you guys I had an interview, I actually went there and they said it wasn't that day. So it's actually a week after I misread the date. I misread the date. I was thinking the date was the address of the place. You know how Americans write their dates. They write the month first before the day. And that looked like the address of the place, you know. Because the address of the place is the same thing. And I thought the person was repeating the address of the place, not knowing that was the date. So when I went there, the lady just took me around. There was a quick introduction. She said her partner, her main boss who help her who she would rather help do the interview wasn't available so i should come today so she just gave me a quick tour of the place we had a little chat and then i left that's why i didn't get back to you guys the other day and today rather that's the main interview i am so so not well but we'll see how it goes i'll give you guys a feedback when i get back okay a friend is coming to pick me up i'd wanted to take the bus you know but the way i'm feeling i don't have enough strength to walk to the bus station so a friend is coming to pick me up and yeah i just want to quickly take my nose max i don't want to go and spread any infections <laughs> yeah I don't want to go and spread any infections, so I just quickly grab a nose mask, yeah, and then she'll be here in about 20 minutes. Yeah, I want to be ready before she comes, I don't want to keep her waiting. So I will talk to you guys after the interview. Hopefully, it goes well. You guys should pray for me. <laughs> You guys should pray for me my very first interview in america my very first interview after how many years <laughs> after one whole year of being here mm -hmm, i finally get an interview so you guys should pray for me if it's the will of god let me get it i get something doing because i've been really really bored i've been really bored trust me I was actively working before I came here, so all this time waiting for all these processes has been really, really hectic for me. I will tell you guys about how long I have to wait for everything in a separate video. But for now, keep me in your prayers as I, I go for this interview in this condition or in this state, okay? <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You guys, I'm back from the interview. <laughs> um, they said they will get back to me. They'll get back to me within a week. So hopefully, I hear good news. But for now, I'm going to try to catch some sleep. I am still not well. So whatever I hear from them, I'll let you guys know. Okay. So, I'll talk to you guys when I have um, news from them. Okay, bye.